So first things first, what is a real estate cap rate? It's simply an annual based rate of return or a yield on the purchase price of an individual income producing commercial real estate property. And it's expressed as a percentage such as an 8% cap rate. So this applies to all income producing property types that you see here. And what we're saying for downtown office is these properties trade in the range of a four cap to a six cap. And so naturally there's gonna be some that trade outside of the six cap range, meaning at a higher cap rate and some potentially trading lower than a four cap. But basically what we're showing here is the yields, right? The year one, NOI yields that buyers are willing to accept to acquire this cash flow stream. Let's take a look at some other data. This is coming from Real Capital Analytics for property or portfolio sales of two and a half million dollars or greater. So this is an illustrative data range from 2002 to roughly 2015 for the Atlanta multifamily market. So what do we see here in this data? Well, what we see is, generally speaking, apartments are trading in the six to seven cap range. And naturally, these are all averages within each of the columns of data. So there is variation within that. But it's an interesting look at how this type of cash flow stream is valued by investors. And next, we'll look at industrial average cap rates. And so this is the same time series available. Therefore, I cannot bid the price up so much. Thus, the cap rate is going to be higher, let's say by 50 basis points. And there's little competition, again, putting a relatively lower ceiling on the price that I'm willing to pay. On the top here is a graph of cash flow cap rate spreads over 10 year treasury. So this is an interesting concept, which is worth noting. The idea of the cash flow cap rate. We've discussed how NOI can be defined in different ways and massaged to either include or not include certain things. We have an 80% LTV and that's at a 5% interest rate and therefore 20% of our capitalization is equity and the quote unquote required return for equity, which in the case of equity is a targeted return, not a promised return. Targeted return is 15%. If we were to look at this playing in a competitive context, so whatever value end up solving to, if that value doesn't get you into the best and final round in your bidding for a property, then it's somewhat of a moot point. Now that said, always bidding the highest price only guarantees one thing, that you bid the highest price. It will remain to be seen as to whether you overpaid or not over time.